My name is Noemi Merallo and will present this paper, Analyze of Gender and STEM in Secondary School Students. So the motivation of this work is that societies are digitalized and the technology is one important uh, business niche, but we are suffering an important shortage of STEM vocations. So the question is why? In this context, and the, the market is uh, demanding new professional profiles uh, big data, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, cloud computing, or Internet of Things. But uh, there is an important shortage in STEM young vocations. For example, in Spain, the uh, uh, engineering enrollment has fallen uh, near 8%, and Spain achieved uh, its worst results in science technology in the last PISA report. Some uh, research uh, have defined very important key factors, such as close environment, stereotypes about the STEM or STEM outdoors activities. And regarding the female decline, uh, it can be observed uh, that there is a lack of female role, role models that we have to show the social commitment behind, behind STEM. And we, have to, we have to promote curiosity and real life experiences. So the main objectives of these um, work is to investigate the student's opinion and interest in STEM, particularly among girls and during compulsory secondary education. So the methodology that has been followed uh, in, this, uh, in this work is that we have designed a questionnaire based on the review of the scientific literature in the STEM framework. And we have distributed this questionnaire among uh, near 1,600 of students. The percentage of female and male students is more or less the same. Then we have carried out some quantitative descriptive and correlational design using the tool SPSS. Regarding the description of the student questionnaire, it has been divided in several, into several blocks, tests and hobbies, out of school STEM activities, personal goals and values towards STEM, and finally, regarding STEM role models. So, uh, first of all, regarding the results and the discussion uh, regarding toys, tests and hobbies, we have found that 32% of boys but only 12% of girls believe that toys are different according to gender. Moreover, 70% of boys prefer mathematics, physics and technology subjects compared to only 55% of girls. And we have found also uh, differences between the future career preferences. For example, girl, uh, girls are more close to medicine, school teacher, or psychology, and boys uh, prefer uh, engineering, computer science, police, or teacher. If we move to analyze the personal values and the motivation towards the STEM, in this uh, graph on the left, we can uh, observe the reasons for studying STEM and we can find differences in gender. For example, girls in pink, uh, uh, for them it's more important to help people and to improve society. And in contrast, for um, boys it's more important to earn money, as we can see here in blue. If we move to this graph, the, the, the right gr uh, graph, we can find uh, the reasons for not study STEM. And we can see that the most frequent responses are I don't like it or I am not capable. If we move to the influence and support of teachers and parents, firstly, we can see that the students hardly participate in STEM activities. The average is very low. And parents uh, encourage more than teachers uh, towards the STEM, although both values uh, are very low, as we can see here. Finally, if we analyze the STEM role models in this world cloud, we can observe that, that students hardly name any women, and none of them are in the field of technology or engineering. Moreover, it is important to highlight that near 50% of the students cannot identify STEM role models. And a very positive uh, idea is that the students name scientific YouTuber, YouTubers as possible STEM role models. So in conclusions, we can observe that more boys than girls believe that there are different, different toys for boys and girls. 
We have found gender differences about the future careers and the motivation towards things different from boys uh, and for girls. The involvement of students uh, in out-of-school STEM activities is quite low, as well as the involvement of parents and teachers. And finally, it is important to showcase women's STEM role models. So thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, you can send me an email to this address.